it's going down. Shola Wong, first and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bashon, Yahweh Shai, Bashon Rachakwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth and sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh. Bashem Yahweh Shai. And welcome to another series of It's Going Down, being brought to you by the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Russian naval holds anti submarine drills near NATO country, prepares for more. So, I mean, as of now, it's quite unsure as to why Russia is holding these naval drills near NATO. Now we know that there has been tensions between Russia and NATO, but there has mainly been tensions between Russia and the United States. You know, now we know that the United States is currently an ally of NATO, but according to prophecy in the Holy Scriptures, Namely, the book of Obadiah, the first chapter and the seventh verse, NATO is going to turn on America. You can also find this in the book of Revelation, chapter 17, verse 17, where NATO is going to turn on America and become allies with Russia via the Soviet Union. So I'm going to go ahead and read some of this. On Monday, in New York top diplomats traded accusations in a rare United Nations National Security Council debate over the Russian, the uh, Russia-Ukraine crisis. The U.S. and its allies, particularly Britain, have also raised the sanctions pressure, now threatening hard-hitting punitive measures on Putin's inner circle, as well as targeting banks and energy companies in the event of a Ukraine offensive. So they're mainly doing this because, oh yeah, and, and let me remind you too, by the way, that they were already talking about kicking Russia out of SWIFT, which of course now a lot of countries are seeing it as a bad idea because if, if Russia is removed from SWIFT, that would impact Europe greatly, considering the fact that Europe won't be able to get vital or essential uh, commodities from Russia, such as oil and gas uh, uh, and other things. But I mentioned oil and gas because those are the top vital and most important things that Europe heavily depends on to keep its country running. So without that oil and gas, Europe will pretty much begin to decline under Russia. Well, they, be, they will begin to decline. So I'll just say that. Now, Russia has been hit with sanctions pretty hard lately. And of course, as you may know, Russia have sent troops to Ukraine. Okay, so they currently have troops on the borders of Ukraine. Simultaneously, Russia's uh, northern fleet conducted anti-submarine drills in the Norwegian Sea. Not far from NATO member Norway, at a moment of broader and rival naval moments in places like the Black Sea. Russia's military described another northern drills as involving ships hunting down a notional enemy's submarine using sonars and data from military pilots, according to TASS News Agency. Okay, as part of the drills with the Arctic Ex Expeditionary Task Force, a group of northern fleet's combat ships and support vessels practiced anti-submarine assignments and the Nor Norwegian Sea, the defense military described. 
the news, or, or excuse me, the crews of the missile cruiser Marshal Ustinov and the frigate or frigate fleet Admiral Kes Kesatinov hunted down the notional enemy submarines with the help of anti-submarine warfare helicopter, the military press office said. The exercise involved a Russian missile cruiser, a frigate, and helicopters, and is said to be one of the many drills happening across all fleets from the Atlantic to the Pacific Oceans and the Mediterranean, Mediterranean Sea. And of course, the reason why Russia is doing this is because they're getting ready to go to war. You see, Russia sees what's going on in Ukraine. They can see the manipulation and, and all this, this um propaganda being pushed by the United States. They see that the United States is trying to get a full and a complete foothold on, on uh, Ukraine. Now, don't get me wrong. The United States do have some form of influence over Ukraine. But the reason why Russia is doing what they're doing is because they're really, at this point, they're ready to take Ukraine back from the United States. I'm not, I'm not saying the United States has full control over Ukraine because the United States does not have complete political influence over Ukraine. They have some political influence, but let me remind you that Ukraine belongs to Russia. You know, and, and when the United States went over there, you know, sending the CIA and hiring agent provocateurs and economic hitmans and, and, and you know, setting up cubes and all this other shit, you know, that's that's when, you know, the line was drawn. And I believe that around that time, that's when Russia actually really, really started to stand up against the United States. Because at that point, you was on Russia's territory. Which Ukraine is actually a part of Europe. You know. But still. You know. Ukraine belongs to Russia. Hopefully this don't take forever. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Joel. Three. These are all drills, you know. And the reason why these drills are being conducted is because it is prophecy, right? Joel chapter 3 verse 9, proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, prepare war, wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near, let them come up. So the key point here is, is what? Prepare war. And that's what Russia is doing. Whenever you're doing anti-submarine anti drills, whenever you're doing military drills, whenever you're testing ballistic missiles, you're making preparations for war. Okay? So something, Lord's will, is getting ready to happen. And as I said earlier, you know, Ukraine is being used as, as a, a, a pawn. You know, Ukraine is no more than a pawn. Because remember, the United States is using Ukraine cynically against Russia. The United States really don't have no interest in Ukraine. You know, the United States have a secret agenda to really go after Russia because they see how much of a threat Russia poses to the United States. That's why they're trying to get a strategical advantage by getting a complete foothold on Ukraine so they can so the US can can you know use their western influence on Ukraine. That way if you, if the United States gets a, a full control of Ukraine what happens? Then they can set up garrisons, they can set up military bases in, in Ukraine, and that would spell that would spell disaster before Russia. So Ru Ru Russia's not having it, okay? Russia ain't having it. You know, Russia, they 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 seen what the United States tried to try to do to, to Syria. They saw what the United States tried to do to uh, Kazakhstan. 
And now the United States is, is trying to use similar methods on Ukraine. Except the only difference is that the United States don't have terrorists there. Well, I mean, I take that back. Those Westerners in Ukraine are the terrorists. With that, I'm going to say, Shalom is on to the next one.